Hello, Brian. So you asked about tethering, and this is my setup that I use. So I have my laptop, and I normally shoot with it connected to a big screen monitor. Um, typically, I'll use that for the peanut gallery back here, sometimes so the model can see what she's doing from back there without having to walk back and forth to see this little screen. Um, the issue with this is this isn't calibrated, this is, so when I take a picture, I usually look here so I know exactly how the image is looking, but for the most cases, this is fine. So the way I do this is I use a USB cable. Now this one happens to be from Tether Tools, and again, it's a little expensive, but um, it's reliable. A lot of the other long USB cables um, don't have a good consistent signal um, from end to end so your camera will disconnect from the laptop so they've used um, instead of the normal thickness of cable um, they use some real thin wire so that there's less impedance less interference so they can push that signal farther so that's one of the reasons why they do charge so much but if you can find a, a a long USB cable I think this is 15 feet um, try it first and see what you get um, the software that I'm using Lightroom has made it a little bit easier when it does see a drop signal it'll wait and keep pulling the the port before it used to just drop and sometimes you even had to restart the computer because Lightroom or and or the drivers interaction was was wonky so anyway this just plugs into your USB port and it comes with a um, device where I can plug it into another adjacent USB. Um, in my case I can't plug it in here because when I plug this in then it's too close. So I just do this. Um, my buddy Rob when he's here he just tapes his to the, the table. There's also another end on this so that it plugs into an attachment right here. Let me get a little closer. So it plugs in right there. So, da da. And then this just plugs into the USB on your camera, like that. And they call this a jerk stopper, but it works pretty well. Now, from Lightroom, I simply go up to, and let me bring you around so you can kind of see here. I'll bring you in, and I will also raise you up so you can see the screen a little bit better. There. So I'm going to go up to File on Lightroom and say Tethered Capture and Start Tethered. Um, give it a name, blah, 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 whatever, and then turn it on, and it says detecting camera. I now am going to turn on my camera, and it found it, and it gives me this toolbar. So I can actually take a picture from here by just clicking, and it took that picture. So now up on the screen will be whatever I had to camera pointed at so actually let me do this so now if I press that button and take a picture now I can take a picture on my own um, by just pressing the button but so again I can either take a picture of you or I can do it manually. Now, what, when that comes in handy is when I have the camera um, up on a tripod or up on some mount that's looking down or whatever and I don't want to have to go back to it, press the button, I can just do it here. I can also change my uh, shutter, my aperture, my ISO, my white balance from here. Now, again, this is using Lightroom. Um, Canon comes with its own software. Um, Nikon, you have to buy extra software from Nikon. Um, I don't know if Sony does. I know Fuji, um, Fuji has software that I think you have to buy, although you can 
do the same thing from their uh, uh, phone app. So um, I would think Sony has something, but this will work with Sony uh, as well. Other than that, this is my setup. So just a Tether Tools a cable into a laptop um, and just run that way. Um, on one, uh, not on one, but um, oh, I'm trying to think what the other, there's another piece of software that, uh, that a lot of people use and I can't remember what, what that is, but anyway, uh, find, find whatever software that you're going to use and make sure it, it has tether capability. Um, find a cable. That's all you need really. So have fun.